Johnny Pink, hopefully I'm not cut off in that thing. I'm here one last time. Today is the very last day that I've got this amazing Sony A6700. I'm really, really, really impressed with this. I've processed 500 different photos. I've taken a lot. <laughs> the cool thing about shooting faux macro or close-ups is that you don't take as many photos. The other thing I'm going to do in a minute is pull out my Canon R7 with their 100 millimeter macro lens. I love that setup. We'll see what I get here. Let me take a couple more photos because I did a macro shot. I did my first one. I'm going to leave those linked up over here so you can see those if you're interested in that. <laughs> Let me shoot something here before I switch. The only thing I have found that I don't like is I wish there was another button on the back here so that I could set two different buttons for different things. There's not, not a big deal. It doesn't have a shutter curtain. At least I haven't found one in the menu. And as I've gone through the last couple of days, I've become more and more comfortable with the menu, but it's still all new to me. So I'm a little bit lost with it. Might be a little bit bright. I'll take that down just a little bit. One thing I am super impressed with is the clarity and the autofocus in this really is pretty phenomenal. I'm blown away. All right, I took a couple of shots here. Let me switch to the Canon and uh, I'll show you the difference between these two. All right, and I'm back over here. So now I've got my Canon R7 with the 100 millimeter macro lens, the same flash, same settings. I believe I was at a 200 shutter speed F9 and the flash uh, on this one, auto. I don't have it in auto ISO. I have the ISO at 200. Now the trick is just to find a damselfly. If I can't, well, I have plenty from before here. So let's look at these two side by side. This one is blue, the other one was brown, so it's not quite the same, but let's look at these. screen on this I really I don't care so much for the screen if you're inside it's fine it's easy to see and that's probably a setting that I might be able to change but out here in the sunlight in order to make my changes I have to look through the viewfinder 
the back screen on the R7 and the R5 when I'm changing settings is easy to see. That's one of the downsides to this. And no curtain, I hate that. And of course now, I'm not seeing anything. Ah oh, well, Johnny Pink, man, thank you so much again. We'll see you guys out there. This goes back today. Yeah, I would buy this. I'd be very happy with it. I don't even care about the small size of the body. It's fine. When I pick up the R7, it feels like a beast compared to this and it's not even near as big as the Z9 which I did like the body size or my D800 with the big battery grip. I like it. Turning it sideways makes it a problem. Oh well, we'll see you guys. It really is impressive. <laughs> Am I tracking? Am I tracking? Hard to say sometimes. <sighs> well, again, thank you. I'll see you guys.